so people, you know, you're often mentioned in the same breath as Enya for that, that sort of sound. Does that comparison make you crazy, or do you, or do you, or do you like that the comparison well, you think it's apt or not terribly? No, I mean, I'm, I in some ways it's a compliment. I have great respect for Enya and her team's work and what they've accomplished over the years. I mean, they too are kind of trading a bit in that Celtic, that infectious Celtic territory. But I think uh, for my part, I I feel I've, whether I intended it or not, or wanted it or not, I've ended up walking my own unique musical path. And that I think that's been largely led by my curiosity. Uh, many people probably know already that I never dreamed about being a singer. I always wanted to be a veterinarian. And, <laughs> and if I hadn't gone on to be a veterinarian, I would have worked in forestry or wildlife conservation. So. I ha I've always had this arm's length distance uh, psychologically with my career. I've never had a big appetite or infatuation for fame. Um, I accept that it comes with it, but I feel incredibly grateful to have landed, to have had some talent, but also landed in a career path that's afforded me some success to be able to travel the world, to meet people, to learn about cultures, and weave that back into my work. So it's, it's, a, it's been a very, very good loop. Mm -hmm.